Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Crucible Chat. Yes, it's Saturday, it's the time of the week where I get to talk about whatever the fuck I want, but it's not me this week. No, for the next few weeks I'm uh, stepping back from Crucible Chat and I'm allowing some of my friends to come in and do their own. Uh, part of this is because it's coming up to the first anniversary of me starting Crucible Chat, so I wanted to think of something special to do for that one. Uh, part of it's also because I'm a bit busy in my life and I didn't really have time to think of anything. So what I'm doing is I'm helping out some of my buddies who have smaller YouTube channels. And first up we have Bansaw the Hedgehog from Australia. Um, very good friend of mine, an awesome YouTuber. He's definitely underappreciated. You need to go over his channel, give him some love. He's nearly, he's getting close to 100 subscribers. Let's see if we'll, with this video we can get him over 100. But I'm going to leave this here, so Bansaw, take it away. G'day guys, it's Bansaw the Hedgehog here and welcome to Crucible Chat. That's right, I've got Crucible Chat this week. Mike graciously opened up the floor to me because he couldn't think of anything to talk about. And he came to me and he said, hey Hedgehog, do you, got, do you want to have a go at doing Crucible Chat this week? And I said, sure, because I've got a subject I'd love to talk about and it gives me a whole new audience to talk to as well. Now in the background you can see some Battlefield 4 on Dawnbreaker, I think the map is, and I think as a spoiler, I go about 15 for 4, 15 for 8. I've got no idea. I know I get 15 kills, but that's no matter. What matters is what I want to talk to you about. Now, since doing YouTube for just a little under a year, it'll be about a year in October, I think it is, I've come across a certain element of people that sort of, I suppose you could say, gets on my go. It's not a, not a really bad element of people on YouTube and everything like that. Not like the big, like the people that you come across that are dislike spammers that'll get bots and all this sort of stuff to dislike your videos. But they do sort of give me the shits if you pardon my French. Now these guys, you, I call them the like and leavers. Now you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but what I mean is these people won't even watch your videos. They'll they'll be subscribed to you, sure, or they may watch your videos, but they'll come on. They won't even watch the whole video and they leave. They'll just like it and leave. They won't comment, they won't watch the video. And I know most of you guys are probably saying, well, what do you care? You get a like out of it, you get a view out of it, you may even get a sub out of it. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's why I said it's not that big of a deal, but it does get on my go. Because I go through all this trouble of making a video. I edit it, I sometimes put music to it, put little transitions in, subtitles, all that sort of stuff. I go to this trouble to make an awesome video for people and they don't even watch it. Like, they don't take the time to watch it. I mean, imagine if you were make, you made someone a meal, like say a beautiful steak, like, you know, ribeye steak, one of them like $25 steaks and beautifully cooked potatoes, vegetables, like, you know, it looks perfect on the plate, it's going to taste awesome, and all they do is they sit in front of it, they, you put it in front of them, they look at it, and they pull out the tomato sauce bottle and just cover the whole thing in sauce. I mean, it, it seems like they're just saying, oh, really, that's it, <laughs> done. Or, for another analogy, and then I think this analogy really works. Now, for you people that have seen Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, and if you haven't seen it, what the hell is wrong with you? Go out and get it. It is a great movie. The whole lot of the Monty Python series is great. So go out, go out to Tesco's, go out to Big W, Walmart, wherever the hell you live. Go out to your local supermarket, chain, whatever it is, and pick up the videos and everything like that. And go and watch them. You won't be subscribed. Uh, subscribe. You won't be disappointed. All right, so back to my analogy. In that movie, The Meaning of Life, there's this big fat guy. He comes into a restaurant. His name's Mr. Creosote. And... The maitre d' comes over, he's played by John Cleese, and he says, we've got this, we've got this in this big French accent. Like, you know, it's a well-to-do restaurant. So, like, you know, you're probably paying $100 per dish, and he walks in, and he rattles off what's on the menu. Do, 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 do. We've got foie gras, we've got pâté, we've got, you know, pigeon stuffed with something stuffed with this. Like, you know, well-to-do meals, like, you know, that'll cost you an arm and a leg to buy. But what he wants, he wants it all, but he wants it all in a bucket. Like, it doesn't relay what the chef's gone through to prepare it, to present it and everything like that. It's just like, I don't care what it is, I just want it. And like, you know, the, the time 
and the care that's been taken into preparing it, just like I, the time and care that we take to prepare our videos and edit them and commentate over them and everything like that, it's not appreciated. So, like, you know, you guys get what I mean by... It gets on my goat that you, we go through all of this trouble to make awesome videos for you guys. And I know 99% of my subscribers, 99% of my subscribers, will sit there and they watch the video, they comment on them, they'll like them, even dislike them. I mean, I don't care if I get a dislike if I did a shitty video, as long as someone says, all right, well, this is why I disliked it. I mean, you tell me why I did something wrong or why you think I did something wrong and you've disliked it for this reason, fair enough. I can't, I'm not gonna complain against it or anything like that. But if you watch, don't even bother to watch my video and just like and leave, I, that's where it really gets on my goat, as I keep saying. And I know you probably say, well, how do you know? Now, I'm debating about whether or not to put the screenshots up on the screen, because I've got screenshots of this happening. Because on Twitter, I noticed that this guy has been liking the vid Lego videos that my wife and I have been doing. Now, these are videos that are 40 to 20 minutes long. Like, you know, they take a while to watch and everything like that. But he can watch my video and like it and move on to another one in two minutes. So it's pretty blatantly obvious that he's not watching my video. And yeah, maybe you guys will probably say, well, maybe he's got something else to do. Maybe he's just liking it now and he'll go back and watch it. And fair enough, that might be the case, but there's obviously no evidence for me to say, well, that's what's going on. You know what I mean? So that's what's really irking me lately. Like, it's been getting, as I said, keep saying, it's been getting on my goat lately a lot. And I suppose this is the perfect platform because Mike loves to use this crucible chat to say what's on his mind and really pissing him off lately. And I thought I would do the same and also See if you guys support that and think the same, you know what I mean? So that's my crucible chat for this week. And as Mike always says, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy it, please come over to my channel and check out what, you, what I've done and everything like that. And maybe think about subscribing and everything like that. So as I said, that's Crucible Chat done for another week. Come back tomorrow when we'll see Mike playing Fallout 3 on a Sunday because that's one of my favorite series that he's doing. And I'm going to end the video off like I always do on my videos and say, until next time, stay awesome.